G'day everybody, in this episode of Flipped Teacher Professional Learning, I'm going to show you another tool that will help your use of Twitter as a tool for professional learning um, become a lot smoother and will allow you to catch up on conferences and on chats that you haven't been able to attend in person by archiving them and collating the, uh, the, the tweets from those events into one single location. Now, the tool that we're using for this is called Storify. Now, Storify is a free website. You do need to uh, register, of course, but it is free. So let's get started and we'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, now with Storify, you can either register with an email address, you can register using your Twitter account, uh, or you can register with your Facebook account. It's up to you which one you use. There's, there are three options that you've got. Now, when you log into Storify, this is what you will see. Uh, at the moment, I've got a few Storifies that I've created in the past uh, from different conferences, different chats, different events that I've been to, and these all appear here. You've got a number of tabs across the top here. You can actually collaborate with other people and work on a Storify together. But let's go through the process of creating a brand new Storify. Now, to do this, I'm going to utilize the Flip Learn Con tweet conversation that's been going on yesterday as day one of that conference. So to start off with, all I need to do is quite simply click on New Story. Alrighty, now when you click on New Story, this is what it brings you to, the editing page. So let's just have a very quick look at the layout and we can uh, have, take a look at what we've got. Across the top is space for a headline, there's space for a description, and then in here is where your tweets, videos, images, uh, Facebook posts, YouTube videos, anything else that you want to put in, that's where it goes. On the right hand side, this is where we actually get access to the tweets or anything else that we are going to put into our Storify. Now you can see there's a number of different icons across the top, each of those relates to a particular social media um, platform. I'm going to be using the Twitter platform here and the hashtag for the conference that I'm using is hashtag FlipLearnCon. So all I need to do is type hashtag FlipLearnCon into the search bar here, click on the magnifying glass and it gives me all of the results, or gives me the first 50 results that it finds for that hashtag. Now, I know that there are more tweets than that, so I can simply scroll down to the bottom and click on show more results, because I know that there's more coming. Now, you are capped at a thousand results for any one uh, social media account. I can see from going all the way to the bottom that some of the tweets are from the Melbourne edition of that conference, so I'm not going to include all of the tweets. I'm going to find the, la the first one from the Sydney conference, which is where I'm at, and I can do that simply by checking the uh, the date, the time stamp. So it gives me the day, the date, year, and then the actual time. So I'll start from here with one from Jeremy. All I need to do to add that tweet to the Storify is click and drag, and it's done. So all I'm going to keep doing is keep dragging all of these across. Now, it doesn't matter what order I drag them onto the Storify because I can change the order later on, and I'll show you how to do that next. Now, I'm using Twitter at the moment, or using tweets rather, but you can see from the icons across the top that you can actually pull from a number of different social media sources, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, of course, YouTube, it's got access to GIFs. There's also Flickr, Getty Images, Google itself, SoundCloud. There's a number, a huge number of sources you can pull from. So you're not just limited to Twitter. This is primarily how I've seen it used, is to archive Twitter chats and conferences. And I know a number of people use Storify as their, their notes. So during a conference, people will use Twitter as their notepad. Uh, any notes that they want will actually be tweeted. And then at the end of it, end of that conference or at the end of the day or end of the session, those notes get collated into Storify. So that way they've got all of the notes that they made in one ready source, just like as if they'd been doing, taking their notes handwritten. And that's one of the reasons why this is such a fantastic tool is because it doesn't matter how many people have been involved in the Twitter conversation, it will pick up all of the tweets, in this case, all of the tweets with that particular hashtag. Uh, irrespective of who has made those tweets. Now you can see that I'm just dragging and dropping these tweets into a completely random order. Now you can see that I'm just dragging and dropping these tweets into a completely random order. I'll address how to fix that up in a moment, but I just want to show you some of the other things that we can do with it. Now this tweet here isn't related, well it's related to Flip Learn Comp, but it's not from either of the first two days. It's a promo tweet from earlier, uh, prior to the conference. So I'm gonna drag it across, it drops in there. Now there's a few things I can do with that once I'm in here. I can 
click on it and drag it to change its position manually. Uh, I can reply, retweet, or favorite from within Storify. It tells you who added the who added the uh, that tweet to the Storify. If I want to remove it from the Storify, I simply click on the cross and it's gone. Alrighty, so my tweets are all in. I'm happy with uh, the tweets that I've got. I don't want to add any of the other ones, but they're completely and utterly out of order from how they occurred through the day. All I need to do is come up here to where it says reorder and click on that. It gives me a couple of options. I can reorder so that the newest tweet is at the top, oldest tweet is at the bottom, or oldest tweet at the top and newest tweet at the bottom. I want the oldest tweet at the top, so I'm going to click on that one, that option, and it has reordered all of those tweets in the order. Now I now have the opportunity to go through and just fine tune that order if I want to. Sometimes there might be a particular conversation, specific conversation within the larger conference conversation that you want to have in the right order and you can do that you can also go through and delete any superfluous tweets any superfluous posts so there's a couple here at the top that I want to get rid of because they're useful or they're part of the conference but they're not specifically from the day of the conference so I'm going to get rid of those because I want the conference storify to be streamlined so I'm going to add in my headline now and I'm going to quite simply call it what it is. I can put a description in here. So now that I've got all of the tweets in the Storify that I want, I've got my heading, I've got my description, the tweets are in the order that I want them in, there's nothing else I need to do except hit publish. Storify's had a bit of a think about it and you can see across the top here that the draft icon has changed to published and it disappeared but it's, it did so. draft Storify published, you can click to publicize. Now you do need to be very quick to click on that publicize button. So what that does is it brings up another section of the page it shows you the published storify but it gives you the option to tag people that have been involved in the Twitter conversation so any particular users whose names have popped up as part of that Twitter conversation uh, it will send them a tweet which you can see here and let them know that they've been involved so they can then get access to the storify as well so if I just click on notify that automatically pushes a tweet out to those people and they'll be notified the other thing that you can do with this then is you can actually email the link to this storify to people who haven't been able to be involved in the conference or who missed the actual or Twitter chat if that's what it was for. Um, Storify is a fantastic tool. I'd very much recommend you get involved, have a look at it, explore, play around. Um, thanks very much for watching.